Hello, my dearest friends. Uh, long time no see. I come to you from the future. Um, we built a breakfast nook that I am currently sitting in. And um, basically in this video, we're gonna show you how, you how we did it, what wood we used. Um, I can tell you our measurements. Now it will be very specific to wherever you're building it, if you are gonna build it. And I'll show you the final pro product. Um, this video is gonna be a two part series because um, it's not complete yet. It, there are some little things that we need to do to make it 100%, but um, it's about 75% complete, so enjoy the video. So I didn't start filming this until now. Um, <clears throat> it's been a while. We are dismantling the desk that I built. Um, we're going to paint this wall back to apartment beige. <laughs> um, and we're going to build a breakfast nook in here. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm taking all of these pieces off. Some of this will be able to be used again. Some of it won't. Um, but stick around and see what happens. <laughs> long time um so i got the don't mind the mess here um i got the desk apart this wall which you guys watched in a video me paint um, i'm going to paint it back to like um this color beige color my arm can't figure out where it's supposed to be going um this wall same thing and then we're going to build a breakfast nook for here um so we have a little round table we have to put a new tabletop on um, to make it larger. And then we're gonna build like two benches with storage. So all of this junk that you see is going to be in the storage underneath the breakfast nook. So basically in our kitchen, um, we have like a peninsula that comes out and we have two stools that sit at this peninsula. However, that's not enough. There's three people that live here. If we have guests over, there's nowhere else for them to sit. So that's why we're gonna build um, a long bench here and then a, like a shorter bench here and then a table in the center and we're gonna paint the wall and I'm gonna do like um, nice wall art behind it maybe do like a wall of picture frames and stuff um, but that will be another day so I'm gonna paint this area right now and then um, my husband has gone to pick up the wood to do the benches in and then I'll, I'll be painting the benches as well um, but yeah stick around and see how it's done and Williams Captivate Paint. Um, I actually work at this store. And this is just a color that I don't even think it's a real color. Oh, it is a real color. Um, I just had it in my closet. I used it in one of my other rooms in here. It's just, it's called Repose Gray. Um, I need to get a stir stick. Give me one. Let me tell you how convenient it is to work at a paint store. Um, I don't know that this color is going to cover the whole orange. Um, I do have another color that I can use, though if I need to. I did have tape. Oh, it's over here. I'm just gonna tape off the baseboards. Um, is it? I want to go all the way down. Let's see how it's covered. Ooh, it's gonna cover nicely.
because we needed a certain length for that piece. So we'll just leave that for now. We can screw this side in and then shimmy it down. Um, now I need one in the center. But do you want to build it in after or do you want to put it in now? So. Um, do we need to put any... Now that we have the two frames built for the top and the bottom of the large seat, um, we're going to put in dowel pieces, two on each side to stick the top and the bottom together to create the whole frame. Um, and then we will repeat this whole process again on the smaller seat. So this seat's the one that's going to go beside the fridge. Um, we just had a larger top for it, so it's going to be bigger. Um, the one on the other side will be a lot smaller. It's only going to be about 40 inches instead of 56 inches, 58 inches. Um, and then on the front, we don't have these pieces yet, but on the front we're going to do doors so that it's storage. Um, and it will be all enclosed and then we will put a table with it and cushions and all of that stuff. <laughs> Here we're just making sure that the top piece, like the top brace, the bottom brace are attached. So those middle pieces that are the height, um, they are 
we're just screwing them into all of the corners and then the middle brace there. When you're attaching the top piece and the, the middle pieces, you want to toenail them in. So you kind of want to go in on an angle so that you know that you're hitting all of those pieces. And you're going to repeat this step for um, this bench and the other bench. This piece here is just a piece of wood that we had lying around in the closet. Um, we're using it for the smaller bench. We didn't want to do the same width of the two benches just because it is such a small space. The bigger bench will be the bench that we sit on the most, but this bench can fit two people as well. Um, so this is just the one that goes on the smaller side. So this bench is pretty much done. We just need like a doors for the front or panels for the front. And then this one isn't like the top and the bottom are together. The other pieces are just sitting there. Um, now, because this piece is actually like two layers, if you can see here that we made the desk out of, I have to do the same to this one or it won't be the same height. Um, so I'm just gonna glue these down and then screw them in so that it holds. And then when you put it over on the top there, it will be the same height as this one here. Now this whole thing is gonna get a full makeover and it's gonna be painted to look really nice and be one single unit instead of a whole bunch of mismatched pieces of wood. But this is basically the layout. When I think back about my plans for this breakfast nook, I really thought this table would work. It is way too small. So we found a table on Facebook Marketplace. Um, when I saw the picture of this table, I just thought, oh my goodness, I could use this. Okay, so exciting news is happening today. We found a table on Facebook Marketplace. This is kind of the measurement of the table. Um, if you see the black pen marks on the the um, cardboard there that's about how far out it will come the top not the bottom the base is like a cute little round base but I figure if it comes out because it's got like a little pedestal base it can be kind of tucked into the corner a little bit so overlap the sides and then you can kind of sneak around it because this isn't a ton of space between here and here um, it's fine because it's gonna be a round table like you can still walk but um, this is kind of the plan, I guess, if it was sitting all the way out from the bench, then that's how it would be, but it's gonna be up close and tight. I also got wood for the front of the bench today, so I'm gonna put that on. Um, put some lights up yesterday, which are not on at the moment. 
I don't know what to do with the walls. They're very blank and bare and I don't know what to do with them. Anyways, main thing today is we're picking up the table and then um, we're gonna put the fronts on the benches here. So I've measured out um, the cuts that I have to make on this wood. I've done one cut already. I wanted to see how the saw took um, going against the green. It actually worked out really well. So it's pretty straight, pretty happy with it. Um, I don't know if I told everybody that, um, so we built a tiny house and we took all of our tools up to this tiny house. So now we don't have any tools here. Um, how am I going to do this? Okay. So I've measured out this part here. Um, you probably can't see it on there, but I'm going to tape it on the good side. And going with the grain will probably be a lot easier than going against the grain like I was just doing. I'm just going to make sure that the measurement still says 8 inches all the way down. I don't need the 8 inch part, I need the 16 inch part which is this side. Um, but yeah, so this is the little hand saw that I'm going to be using. Um, it's just a Stanley saw from Home Depot but it's like a, a fine woodworking saw so it makes it a little bit easier cutting an 8 inch piece of plywood that I, like I'm doing. Um, I wish that we had our jigsaw or even our circular saw, but we don't, so this is what we're using. Um, and yeah, I guess I'm gonna try and cut this long piece and see how, how good. Now the moment of truth will be whether or not it fits. I did measure. Um, so it's just gonna be like the face plates. And then that, because it's such a thin piece of wood, I am going to nail it on with some finishing nails and glue it on at the same time. Moment of truth, moment of truth, moment of truth. Perfecto. I might add trim at the bottom at some point, but not today. Um, I actually don't think it looks that bad. 16 inches all the way across the, t the height. And then obviously the way that we get in is the taking the top off. Um, yeah, I think it looks good. And if it's painted, I think it will be even better. Amazing. Now let's do the second one. So this one's gonna be cut into um, three pieces. You need one here, one here, and then one on the end. Um, this one's gonna go over to where the power starts, and then the next one's gonna go over under the power and over to this side, and then there's gonna be a piece over here. Now, I should have planned this out better and just put the hole in the front piece where the power is, but I did not, so I'm just gonna work around the power. Not a big deal. Um, likely we'll be able to do like a piece like a c-shaped piece on this side so that it looks like it's like a seamless piece almost to go onto that side so i'm going to measure that for that now and uh we'll go from there okay so i took out this power unit um this piece is ready to go on this piece here just to sand the edges we'll meet here and then the power unit I'm gonna cut this piece too. I might get this piece here on. But not the other piece right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue it and then I'm gonna nail it in place just to hold it um, so that it's like flush. And then That one's a different color. 
be able to do this side. Maybe that fits better. Probably not. That's worse. Okay. This side it is. So we'll just start with this piece here. Um, I'm going to glue it and then nail it on. Hammer it on. Okay, we got the table, looks huge, don't worry. It's the black, it's a lot, the black is a lot. Um, but we have this board in place, we have these two boards in place. The only board I don't have in place is this one, but I think I'm gonna have to do it in two pieces. Um, I do have a little bit of a gap in the corner here because it doesn't line up straight, which is a little sad, um, but I might just put like a trim piece there just to make it line up. Other than that, it looks pretty good and closed. We have our power situation there. And tools on the table. 